Virgo, how's it going? It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or of course, you may also simply follow the links below. Also, for those of you who enjoy the incoming wave horoscopes, well, those are available under a playlist of their very own. We just put up a new one very, very recently, and you can always check that out on my main channel page, or you can open up the down bar and follow the links below. So what is going on when it comes to your cards for this coming week? Well, we actually have the entire week overlit by the lovers upright, as far as the archetypal theme that is spanning the whole experience. And with the lovers upright, I am actually getting a very clear sense of being ushered, being moved, being coordinated towards new long-term commitments, new long-term connections, new long-term agreements, projects, all kinds of secure opportunities being offered to you at this time. With the lovers, there is that sense, though, of being pushed, being coordinated, lifted, guided, and not just on one side, but all sides being guided together, whether it's being guided to the ideal working space, being guided to the ideal collaborator, con ideal companions. This is a week where the lover's card upright is creating an enforcement of win-win in all interactions, win-win in all undertakings. And this is a very important thing that we have to be respecting, but also at the same time understanding in good faith. Because that which are not in win-wins, they're not equivalent exchanges, or things that are not in the highest interest of all concerned, all involved, and all committed, are going to have to get rearranged under this influence, under this energy. You may be finding that certain friends or certain collaborators or possibly even uh, business groups or working groups need to be rearranged so that people are in a situation to better thrive versus simply get by. In fact, with the lover's card, these new commitments are ultimately going to be ones that are mutually enhancing and mutually nurturing all at once. But don't be surprised if this also means certain things tend to not pan out the way we had actually drafted because we have substitutes coming in. We have a chance to actually be set up or have the perfect match made with better than what we thought we were supposed to launch with. In fact, as we get into the Page of Pentacles reverse, there is a sense of something falling through, unfortunately as it relates to a professional or material matter that maybe we had kind of been focusing a lot of our energy on, focusing a lot of our personal intention on. With the Page of Pentacles reversed, this was a long shot. And I think that there is definitely a sense of a long shot falling through or not necessarily being able to be panned out as it was. What I'm getting from this Page of Pentacles reversed, though, is that it's falling down only because it is getting replaced this week. So it's not as though we're going to have just nothing and no substitute. However, I am getting a very distinct impression that even if our emotions and our attachments are not with the substitute, we need to keep an open mind because the Page of Pentacles reversed may be going away. We may not see that the transaction we wanted is there or the customer or client we wanted is there, or maybe a collaboration or a project or something that we're trying to get off the ground does fall through. And we have to go with the other option. But with the lover's card and the page of pentacles reversed, the B plan actually is better than the A plan because the page of pentacles reverse shows us that something is wrong with the A plan. Something is fundamentally flawed from the ground up. This may not necessarily be something that you created yourself. This could absolutely have been something handed off to you or something that was advertised or maybe something that a boss or a client was toying around with. Unfortunately, it will fall through to make way for the better B plan. And it's very interesting. It's almost like if the A plan was silver, <laughs> well, we're going to give you gold instead. And that's not me trying to put a positive spin on things. You guys know me by now. It's just a very, very clear understanding of a better substitute. 
that we have to allow something to fall through in order to grab. When it comes to the Ace of Cups reversed, I do see some sadness coming through as it relates to a friend or a relative. Uh, there is a sign of some conversation going very, very deep, very, very personal that is actually going to be taking both people down a sorrowful memory lane. And I do see sort of a weird recovered memories moment with this Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, this may be somebody sharing something very vulnerable with you that was never thought to be uh, shared in the light of day. This could be maybe a friend, a relative, new or in the past, right, when it comes to friends, that is actually sharing something because they feel like now is the time, even though they may have never had the nerve to do so before. And with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I don't feel that this is necessarily going to be earth shattering for you, but it is going to be groundbreaking for both of you. This will change your perspective of your history with this person or with this group or with this family. But with the Ace of Cups reversed, it's vital information that does need to be shared, even though it may not be the happiest story anyone ever told. As we get to the Queen of Swords in reverse, ghosts of the past seem to be a recurring theme as it relates to love. And the Queen of Swords reversed is revealing some kind of bitterness or some kind of anger or rage that is still stewing in somebody that you are with, whether it's a partner or maybe somebody you're starting to see. The thing is you have to understand is that I'm getting this sense of scarring in the Queen of Swords in reverse, and it could be creating a sort of single-minded focus or obsession in them when it comes to either a past relationship or a past circumstance that they are not over. Or maybe it could be that they are still thinking too much about a past partner or a past situation to be emotionally available or present this week for what we are engaging them with. Please understand with the Queen of Swords reversed, I'm not seeing necessarily uh, them taking a lot of this out on you, but it can still feel hurtful or harmful, especially if it feels like we are playing second fiddle to a, a ghost of a person's history. And of course, that's not always fair, right? It's not fair to have to be carrying the burden of another person's mistakes just because they're no longer here in the picture, but a partner or somebody that we're seeing is still wounded or hurt, but it's important that everyone gets to actually go through their process. Now, I do feel, however, it's important to also make sure that we don't allow ourselves to succumb to our own situation within this, right? Because it does feel like with the Queen of Swords reversed, while we are experiencing this, we may actually accidentally get too involved and almost own the situation or try to get involved, or maybe we're feeling recruited to take on the situation with our partner. This is something that needs to be cleared, grieved, and gone in the past. It is not something to go and workshop with your partner or with your intended. This is not something to go back in time with. Even with new people, you may be finding that new people are recently out of relationships and still very much hurting and still very much processing their past. But this week, it's important to understand your job is not to go back to their past with them. So that is what I've got for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.